Runes and Christianity, The Conflicts of Magical Systems. You see, one's pure intention to work with runes is very well perceived, especially if it comes from a man. Nowadays, the cult of the Norse gods is being restored. It'll be restored by the year 2150, when they began all their processes here. Are there any preparatory procedures required in terms of Christianity? I myself am a Christian, and I'm ready to take on any risks for my own sake. Should I perhaps get debaptized? There is no need to take such steps for now. If you get certain signs that you need to choose either or, then you and I will simply discuss the matter separately. And shall we say, I will supervise the matter. Because I will be teaching you runes, I'll be responsible for you, until you graduate from the group. As a result, your connection to your old channels will be partly my responsibility as well. And it will be my responsibility to advise you on what to do and all the rest. So far, I'm only giving you one recommendation, just one. You must complete the first and second main courses. There should not be any fears in your heart and mind regarding the channels that will be entering you by the means of runes, as well as the channels of gods that will also be entering you, since they are so drastically different from the Christian ones. If they deem it necessary to squeeze the Christian seals out from your mind, they will do so without asking if they see it necessary. If they deem it appropriate for you to do it yourself, they will inform you of it. So let's not rush the actions and events just yet. All will be revealed through practice. At the very least, your determination and desire is already 50% guarantee that you will work with runes. Thank you. I also have a deck of cards by Vasilisa Volodina. It's like Toro, made up of 68 cards. Do runes exclude the use of the Toro? They do. And I ask you to refrain from engaging in any other magical practices while learning runes. For one thing, it may potentially distort your perception of runes. Secondly, because they are different magical systems, they may conflict within your mind. Especially Valadina's modern replica. Believe me, there are many modern replica Toro systems out there. None of them function as a magical system, but rather as a connection to the author's egregore. Don't risk it. If you want to learn Torah, I will either point you in the right direction in terms of literature, or teach you myself. But take your time. I don't recommend it to anyone mixing runes and Torah in one head at the same time primarily due to the confusion of effects, which will be a barrier to understanding the runes. And if you don't understand a rune, it doesn't have to understand you either. This is a two-way game. If we do not adopt a consumerist approach to magic, we'll never have to face the fact that magic will place us in the category of a common victim, which our reality is so full of. Could you advise me what I should do with my Toro card? Hide it somewhere far away. And all the other paraphernalia too. When you have to get them back out, you will. But when you do, you'll do it as someone who doesn't depend on these items, but knows how to use them. Don't let them interfere in the process of your transformation.